Jeff, have you ever had sexual relations with any of Denise's girlfriends? That haircut he has is annoying me so bad. It's like he's balding in the weirdest way. Welcome back to Cringe Against Humanity. I'm Mr. Black, and in this episode, I've got my producer, Tom Arrow, with me. Say hello, Tom. Hey, what's up, people? He's a good guy, genuinely, and I mean that. I know he doesn't look like it, but he is. And today, he has brought another episode of... Moment of Truth. Is it Moment of Truth, A Moment of Truth, or The Moment of Truth? The Moment of Truth. It's The Moment of Truth. Even though there's several moments, they're talking about one specific moment. Tom, is this episode... From season one or season two? This is a season two opening episode. Oh. It's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. It's a little surprise in there. If you're, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering, what the fuck is a moment of truth? Well, it's a TV show that aired back in the like early 2000s, wasn't it? Yeah. Or around that time, it ran for about two seasons. If you want to catch up on all the rules and how it works, just go watch a video on this channel called A Woman Ruins Her Life on a Game Show. Isn't that what yes, it's called? Yes, It's Lauren. Lauren Cleary's moment of truth. Pretty embarrassing. And this is just going to be a continuation of us reacting to another episode of Moment of Truth, which I think you'll all enjoy. Will we just jump in and see what the flip happens? Prior to tonight's show, all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. And if they feel they may not have been- What the fuck is a rigorous <laughs> polygram? What is a l <laughs> I went through a rigorous lie detector. It was rigorous. What is rigorous? Do you get your phone? The fuck uh, rigorous? rigorous? Can you look up rigorous? I want to know the- I know, it what like, it, uh, I know what it feels- intense? I, yeah, I know what it feels like it means. I know what synonyms would be, but I want to know the specific definition of, of rigorous because I don't know. How can a test be rigorous? Is that just intense? Like, is that all it means? Extremely tough and careful. Extremely tough and careful. So, this contestant was put through an extremely tough and careful lie detector test. May not have been truthful during the polygraph test. They could change their answers tonight. Let's meet our participants. Jeff Schuler is a 25 year old real estate agent. Denise Wick is a 22-year-old receptionist. They live in Oceanside, California, Look like they're about to get and are engaged to be married in one year. <laughs> they were asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Jeff Schuler and Denise Wick, this is your moment of truth. So unlike the last episode that we covered, there are now two people and two hot seats. This has definitely changed. This is the opening of season two? Yep. This is gonna be good, yeah. Hi, Denise, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, Jeff. Welcome, have a seat. Well, this is a first for me. You're our first engaged couple. It's like a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, never done this before. I never thought I'd say this, but for once in my life, I don't wanna have a threesome. Couple on the show. You look great together, at least at first glance. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? Excited. That's some haircut. I mean, that's so representative of the time back then. Yeah. It reminds me of in, um, in the UK when Owen Quigg was on uh, uh, X Factor, I think he was on. Uh, he had the exact same haircut. But uh, you know what? I think Owen Quigg stole it from this guy. This guy probably did it first. <laughs> so. Transetta. Any concerns? Uh... <laughs> we'll find out. Denise, how are you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous? <laughs> yes. Do you think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of everybody tonight? Yeah. Jeff says yes, Denise. Yes. Yeah. All right, you guys. There are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the questions get. And the more money you can win. Why is he standing but up? At any time, as I said, you can take the money. It's so and weird. Once you hear a question, <laughs> you have to answer so that close as well. <laughs> and if you are caught lying, both of your games are over. Okay? Jeff and Denise, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, but friends and family have joined us to hear your truth. Oh my goodness. Full house. We've got so many people here. Let's meet them right now. Hi, my name is Eloisa and I'm Jeff's mom. Hi, my name is Sean and I'm Jeff's brother. Hi, I'm Lori and I'm Jeff's sister. Hi, I'm Steve and I'm Denise's brother. Hi, I'm Michael and I'm Denise's brother. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm Denise's friend. It, it looks to me like all the males in the family have 
earrings and none of the women do. <laughs> That's the my first glance. That was my first glance reaction to this. Nothing gets by this guy. Wow. <laughs> this is like the wedding already. You got the groom side <laughs> and the bride side. You're not mixing it up at all over there. This will make or break it. Make or break it. <laughs> he can rhyme anytime. <laughs> wow. Now, I know you say that sort of in jest, but that may be very, very true. How do you all feel about that? Let's find out, see what's going on. Let's do it. Good luck, you guys. Oh, Here boy, we go. Mark Wahlberg. Sit down, boy. All right, Jeff and Denise, level one has six questions. All you have to do is answer those six truthfully, and you win $10,000. And keep in mind, if you're ever concerned about an answer you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them tonight. So, you're my friend. Not only does Jeff look Latvian, but I'm curious to know, in Latvian culture, what a show like this, how it would go down. <laughs> I'm not sure it would work in Latvia. There is a show, let's say, Are You Smarter Than a Third Grader? Okay. It's like a quiz type of show. We have more of those going on. Yeah, also yeah. like bingo and stuff. Uh, we also had who wants to be a millionaire, not who wants to be a miserable billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think it would work here. Cause, yeah, you guys are a lot more reserved and close, yeah, closed I, off when I it comes to that kind I of stuff. I wouldn't apply for this. I would yeah. never tell these things on, on air. I could like have them discuss with friends and stuff, like, but not on air, man. Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm not with my family and friends behind me. Like, hey, have you done this and that? And like, <laughs> yeah, very, very odd. First engaged couple, okay? And I'm thrilled to have you here. And like I said, you look great together. Have you set a date? Already we're stuck? That was just making conversation. I have. Were you aware of this? She's like, my my date is 50 grand. <laughs> That's my date. When this motherfucker got 50 grand, I'ma suck that wedding ring. You aware of this? Yeah. <laughs> how, how long have you been engaged? Uh, two years. You're not really rushing into this at I all, like, I, well, I kind of like to play it safe, you know what I mean? How is... Being engaged for two years, like, oh, you're taking your time. <laughs> it was the same when, when my missus and I got engaged. I mean, we got engaged after, I think, two years of being together. From that moment, everybody has asked us repeatedly when the wedding is. So when's the wedding? So when's the wedding? So when's the wedding? And we're tempted to just go <laughs> and get married behind everyone's back and be like, fuck you. <laughs> ah, yes, the plan. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, well, you're in the wrong place for that, my friend. <laughs> Are you good with money, Denise? <laughs> Does that look? Spending it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm Question good at other one things. is for you, Denise. Have you ever taken money from Jeff's wallet without his knowledge? <laughs> Jeff, how do you think she's gonna answer this? I already know. <laughs> Denise, what do you say? Yes. That answer is true there it is again Dong! the death bell <laughs> that's a strange one i mean this this comes down to okay you know how there's like a white lie do you know what that is yeah it's not a race thing it's uh probably is now um <laughs> it's probably some <laughs> slur against white people could be i'm half white so I'll, i don't take it half bad is there also a certain thing as like white stealing <laughs> i mean <laughs> It could be like Great Eric type of thing. I mean, did she go into his wallet and, and pull out a couple quarters because she needed it for, yeah, for you know, the, the toll or something like that? Or was she going in and being like, motherfucker, got 70 in here? I'm going to take 65. <laughs> There's a tax return. She said, she said she's good at shopping, you know, so. You're good at shopping. But yeah, so. Shoplifting. <laughs> she shoplifted out of his wallet. <laughs> That's one. We're on our way. No surprises there. Oh, what's the most she's ever taken out of your wallet without letting you know? Well, your wallet was your nightstand. The most that I know was 250 bucks. But that I know of. Would you say you guys are an equal partnership? No. I, I definitely try, you know? Nope, nope. If she stole 250 bucks out of your wallet, it's not equal. Nope. Or it would be equal if he would steal 250 from her nightstand. That would be equal. <laughs> it's his. It's just he just went back and got her. Why would she have her own nightstand? Or maybe that's like, you know, one on one side, one on the yeah, other. Yeah. Oh. They should make a money pile in the middle, like this is ours. And on nightstands, this is like mine. Do, do you <laughs> notice their hands right now? Yeah, they're not like together, it's really. getting at, at the, the start, start. It was real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now it's like <laughs> maybe we're somewhere here. Dude, your hands are so cold. <laughs> What's wrong with you?
Are you sick? Yeah, ice cold, baby. Ice, ice, baby. You live in the same place? You live together? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. <laughs> Did you think about that? Didn't steal out of your wallet, stole out of your nightstand. All right, okay. Do you live in the same place together? Yeah, imagine the answer was no. She fucking <laughs> broke into his house, went into his nightstand, and stole 250 bucks. That would be fucking <laughs> mental, man. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's what I want to happen. That's what I've come to expect out of the moment of truth. Expect the unexpected. Question two. Have you ever felt that Denise did not pay her fair share of the bills? <laughs> well, that's a no-brainer. Um, yes. That answer is... True. Okay. Too truthful. Jeff, what do you do for a living? I'm a real estate agent. Okay, you make a good living? Ah. Enough. And Denise, do you work as well? Yes. What do I'm you do? I'm a receptionist. You're a receptionist. Who makes more money? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I you, do. you make I more do. money. I do, yeah. I pay the cable bill, isn't that enough? <laughs> All right, how does Jeff make you feel, Denise? Yeah, that, that probably looks a little worse than it is. If you're someone like me, I consider myself a... Uh, quite traditional in a, in, a, in a lot of aspects, as is my family. My wife, I I don't want her to have to pay for anything when it comes to the house or the car or the bills. Now, she did do that for a good few years while I tried to get my stuff in order, my life in order, and get my dreams and career to take off. And once it did, we got to a point where we could move to Latvia, have a kid, and she didn't have to work anymore. And I really pride myself on that. So I still think that a man should take look after the woman and that really, Unless you need a little help, and that's all cool. Really, a man should strive to just proper look after her, um, especially if you're in a setup like ours where my wife is so f***ing amazing. She's like washing the dishes, doing the floor, looking after the kid all day, and I bring home the bucks. And it's we're both happy with that. So I, I don't think it's such a bad thing. But regarding those two, I mean... It could be a little different, you know? <laughs> yeah, she she's probably a little less traditional than, than yeah. him. Just judging by the show, I don't know anything. I think she paid the TV bill with the <laughs> fucking 250 she stole, man. <laughs> <laughs> Each month, just like, hope. <laughs> in a separate house, broke into his house, stole 250 out of his nightstand, and took it back, back home, put it in her nightstand. Then when he was like, shit, I don't have enough to pay the cable, she's like, I, I, I've got your money I saved. <laughs> <laughs> From you. As far as, like, happy... That's funny, I'm you said happy content. with an angry face. No, no, not angry, no. He makes me feel loved. Question three. Do you think your fiance, Jeff, cares more about money than he does about you? <laughs> not if you can hijack 250 without him knowing. Fortunately, yes. That answer is like true. Oh. Three truthful, three more ten thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a deep allegation. Wow. I can't believe he cares more about money than his girlfriend that steals money from him. Mm. Awful. And she pays the cable bill. Wow. How do you feel about that, Jeff? Do you care more about money than your soon-to-be wife? You know, it's hard to make a living nowadays, especially in California. I, I, I try my best to split, um, you know, my attention between making a living and having a fiance, but uh, I got some work to do. Um, anything you want to say to her about that? No. Need a lend? Okay, let's move on then. Yeah, can't really defend him on that. <laughs> he genuinely <laughs> seems to be pretty open about the fact that he cares more about money. Hello, I like money. Than the beautiful woman sitting next to him, but we'll probably find out more about her character later on and his too. Personally, I, I care about my missus. Some of the happiest times that we ever had was the first couple years we were dating and neither one of us had a lot of money. We didn't have, to have enough to buy oil to heat the heat the house, so we took all the pillows off the or all the cushions off the couch and we set them on the ground and we built a fire in the fireplace in the living room, closed the door. And we sat in there all night watching movies and then slept on in, in front of the fire. We still talk about that to this day as being one of our happiest times. Romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. This question is for you, Jeff. 
Question four. Do you have a secret stash of money that you keep from Denise? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that answer is true. <laughs> That's four true for two more we get to $10,000. I don't think she should be so upset about this. A devil's advocate now, right? So I don't think she should be so upset because it seems like she steals. <laughs> <laughs> he cares about money. She doesn't make that much. He does. So it makes sense to me. And they're also not married yet, though they do live together. Again, I think back to my relationship. My wife would probably be pretty ecstatic if she found out I had like 10, 15, 20 grand stashed somewhere that she didn't know about. She thinks about us as one unit and one family and that, hey, if we ever get stuck and we have that money and we need it, she would go, brilliant. I'm so proud of you. You saved that up. So this woman seems a little bit upset that, you know, uh, she can't steal that money. You have a stash you haven't told her about. I huh? do, yeah. Um, it's more for reserves, just in back. case anything. Um, so if she doesn't know about it, you know, better, better for, better for us, actually. So that's exactly what I was saying. But what I want to comment on here is their hands are back together now that she knows he has a hidden stash of money. So Tom, I think we should play a game. I think that when their hands are together, our hands should be together. You down? Yeah, why not? All right, let's do it. Won't we'll cut into that. So. Wait. Okay. I can buy that. Where's the three come from? Let's continue. What attracted you to Jeff originally? His personality. What about his personality made you go, hmm, I like that guy? Money. He's pretty out there like I am. Would you say you're out there, Jeff? <laughs> no. uh, um, not that far, but I mean. <laughs> Question five. Weird. Have you ever thought your fiance <laughs> might be gay? Wow. <laughs> With a haircut like that. Wait, did they split their hands? I'm not saying yes, I have thought of Wow. <laughs> that answer is. True. Dong. That's five. One more ten thousand dollars. Denise. Don't give me the hand. What made you think that? When was this? What brought it on? Let's just say he spends more time in the mirror than I do. Yeah. Yes. You look he's, good, he's Jeff. He's more concerned about the way he eh? looks than I'm ever concerned about the way I look. <laughs> Jeff, how do you feel about the thought I'm that it's crossed her mind? Um. Blown away. He definitely spends way too much unnecessary time on that unnecessary hairstyle, and she's hot. I wanted to say the same about the hairstyle. He probably spends like a good 40 minutes every morning just like, stay up, come on. Yeah, I always thought back then when they had that hairstyle, how do they do it? I tried it a couple times on myself. I never would have wore it out of the house, but mm -hmm. I tried it. I was like, how the fuck do they do this? How do they make it? How do they do it? I tried it. I was like, how do they make it? Never would have wore it out of the house. How do they do it? How the f do they do this? Dude, I've had the same haircut since I was seven. I think it's been just like this since I was seven. <laughs> but my wife texted me. She's like, where's that money you hid? Where's the 250? <laughs> my wife never texts me. Never, ever texts me. Ever. Until I hit record. She texts back, sorry, I won't disturb you anymore, XX. Good. Well, f you up. Uh, I'm texting for eight. Mm -hmm. What did <laughs> I say? It's in the picture of us, like, flexing. Yeah, she blocked you. <laughs> Imagine. It's magic, you know. <laughs> okay. Jeff, this is a tough question. You must answer honestly if you'd like to have this $10,000. Are you ready? Now you know it's ready? heating up. Question six. Have you ever been physically attracted to a man? 
Right. Okay, so that's a good question. Tom, have you ever been physically attracted to a man? Uh, it's hard to define attraction, but I've been able to look at a man and be like, hey, he's beautiful. Agree. doesn't mean that you have to be actually sexually attracted to the person. I've seen a guy said, hey, man, you look good today. Is that considered gay? I don't think so. But the, the connotation of this question spins it in that way, I think. I agree. I've definitely seen some guys that I, I've been like, that's a good looking dude. Like, there's no denying it. I think it's like gay guys can obviously see a beautiful woman and be like, holy shit, sister, you are banging. Like the in this show. She's pretty hot. Have we said that yet? Yeah, probably like three times. Yeah. <laughs> she um, hot though. She is. Um, not as hot as my wife. There you go. Whatever suspicion you may have had has been put Both to rest. Both hands are together now. Okay. Yep. And guess what? Ten thousand dollars. Now, while ten thousand dollars is certainly a lot of money, um, if you're planning a big wedding, that's not quite <laughs> enough. That. Yeah. So, would you like to continue? You need five more questions to get to twenty-five thousand. That's a good point. What he just said there was like, you know, if you're saving for a wedding or whatever, maybe that's the point of the money that he's saving. And every time he saves up a bit, maybe she comes in and she takes little pieces here and there. And that can add up, you know. She kind of took it bad that he's hiding money, but it might actually be to marry her, you know. Mm -hmm. Which is a feasible explanation because she's hot. You risk too much. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Okay. When two people get married, it's not only the union of your love, but it also, to some degree, unites the two families as well. Jeff, how would you say the two most important women in your life, which would be, I'm guessing, your fiance and your mom, Yeah. how do they get along? It's, uh, it's... Just by the facial expressions of both of the women, you can say there is beef going on every day. There man. must be. I mean, she looks like she's a, a, a Percocet away from another bottle of wine, that mom, you know. She got that Debbie Mather swag going on. I wonder if she is, would play the part of Eminem's mom in Headlights, the music video, so. In trouble keeping up with every address, but I'd have flipped every... Uh, they're definitely walking on uh, fragile grounds, I, I think. Question seven. Do you think Denise deliberately does things to upset your mother? Yes. That answer is... Say it ain't so. True. That's 17. Wow, how did they work that one out? So they must have asked her that question. No, no, no. Okay, right. So it was, do you think that Denise... Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next question's gonna be, do you do things to upset his mom? Is that, is that something you wanted to say? No, it, I understand, you know, sometimes it, there's differences, and but that doesn't bother me. I expect it, you know, I mean... Jeff, why do you think that she deliberately does it? She's like, uh, it's, it doesn't matter. There's no difference. The Vicodin, Percocet, Valium, it's... It don't matter. I'm joking. I know I, I do care. not know this woman. I don't know if she's on any anything. I have no clue. I'm just uh, yeah, he, taking the mickey, as they say. We're just say. being an asshole, you know? We're just, just being assholes, yeah. yeah. Well, somebody has to do it. Jeff, why do you think that she deliberately does that? I think to play around with her a little bit. You know, I... You know, keep her on her toes, kind of create excitement. You mean gaslighting? <laughs> Toxic. I noticed that the demeanor has changed. Your smile has gone away. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? I don't do it to be mean. Question eight. Do you like Jeff's mother? <laughs> Ooh. Question eight. 
I've decided that in order to balance things on the set, that I'm going to get my nose pierced here too, like that. It would be nice. Yeah, and then I'm going to have smoke machine implants, micro smoke machine implants in my nose so that whenever I go, <laughs> it's going to be like a bull. I have a question for you, right? Yeah. So I always kind of wondered, if you were in a situation, somebody started you and they they wanted to fight, would you be like, ooh, ooh? No. No, would you just rock it out with that? Yeah. I know it's dangerous. Man. It sounds like you can just snap it off and take it out. You have to find a place where it connects. Then you have to scoot it out. It's not that easy. I genuinely wondered like that. I mean, even like people have earrings up here. Because when, when I went to school, when like women were about to fight, they'd be like, oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the wigs and everything. I mean, like they're about to suck some dick. Preparation for sucking some dick and preparation for fighting, it's pretty similar. Now, I'm not trying to be degrading. I'm sure you guys can find similarities between us and the shit we do, too. Sometimes when that shit's about to happen to me, I don't know. I'm going to get my dick sucked or somebody's going to beat on me, you know? <laughs> Every time he's like, no, or yes, I don't know. Do you like Jeff's mother? Do you remember what you answered originally? Of course she does. I said no. And right now, what would you like to say that you believe would be the truthful answer to this question? Imagine it was like, that answer is false. And everyone's like, yeah, oh, and that's the end of the show. And they all go home and everyone's <laughs> happy. We didn't win money, but we solved things. We learned a lot about each other. It helped our relationships. Go separate ways. Stick with my answer. Okay, let's see if it's right. And looked at her. Wow. Denise. Denise. <laughs> I love London. <laughs> <laughs> That answer is true. Well, you got through it. It's cold. It's eight true points. It's cold. Sensation. What did you want to say? I have tried with her and everything. I have, and Jeff can tell you, I've always tried, bend over backwards to try to win her. I really wanted to make it work. Because if you're going to be married, you have to accept each other's family. That's the only way it's going to work. But, you know, you get to a point where you can do so much. If they don't like you, they don't like you. I'm willing to try with Denise, but it takes two to try, and that's not happening. Yep. Yep. That's not happening. Denise? You, she makes fair points there. Ma Mama Bear's on point, you know. I've been in relationships where, you know, you may not get along with someone's family member, but you do kind of have to try, especially when they're so close that it's like parental. You don't have to be best friends if it's not working, but you really, really got to try when it's your significant other's parents. Not even parents, the whole family, I think. But parents are, are really well, important because yeah. they're the grandparents of your potential future kids. So That's true. You don't want to not get along with them. She should probably try a little harder. But then again, we don't know the history there. Maybe there's some sort of history. Yes, there is. Keep going. Do you think that there's some truth to what she's saying? Are you not trying? Yeah, it's not that I don't try. It's kind of hard to get anywhere with that family. That's not true. That's, that is not true. We have all tried. We have always given her her place. Trust me. It, it's Lori, not, that's not true. what would you like to say, Lori? Hold on, I'll let you Yes, I would like to say something. Please. Okay. My mother and I, we have never done anything we've never talked bad about or anything like that she just does not like us she doesn't like me she doesn't like my mother and it gets to the point where you can't take anymore your patience runs out and it's like she doesn't, it, try. Okay. she doesn't try at all is there anything you want to say about that denise it's not that i don't i don't dislike his mom it's not that i do, i do love her i of course I do. she's gonna be my mother-in-law well that that doesn't mean you no but but it's not just her, and as far as I can see, the only person in that family that is genuine is Sean. Jeff, how do you feel about this? Uh, you know, it's, I hate being put in the middle of it. You know, it's... His hand is in his own lap, and she's reaching. And the way her lips are pressed together right now... She's like, please help me! <laughs> ...tells me she want to be f***ing Sean. She definitely either wants, will, or did. John, there's no doubt about it. But it's all good because she's hot. I think you're reaching a little bit better. But you have tried it, Jeff. I, I agree. I do. You're caught in a difficult situation. Jeff, anything you want to say about that? I just... Huh. I don't know. I mean, I just wish two, two adults can come together and just have respect for one another. That haircut he has is annoying me so bad. It's like he's balding in the weirdest way. And it's like his hair just won't dry. 
I fucking hate it. Don't ever bring this style back. All the other styles we can deal with, even 80s stuff where it was like out the fucking side of your head. Trash bag uh, thingies. Man bun. Yeah, man bun. That's what it's called. Trash bag, man bun. Same shit. Hey, you going to name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun. <laughs> so we've heard a little bit about the rub. We've heard a lot about the rub between your fiance and your mother. How are you with Denise's family? I, I get along good with every, every single one of them, actually. Yeah. You feel that's the case, Michael and Steven? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's he's like the most down to earth. If you can't get along with this guy, you know, get out of here. Question nine. Do you think Denise's brother, Michael, is stupid? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Why are they so happy? Not him, though. <laughs> the question is on you. Do you think Denise's brother Michael is stupid? <laughs> that was the most legitimate and real part of any episode on the show, I guarantee you. That little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was genuine laughter. That was genuine, can't contain it, it burst out. That was a genuine burst of laughter. I love that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. I don't care. Yeah, because you're stupid, so what would you know? No. That answer is... Oh, look at her. Uh, True. Wow. That's pretty would painful. Would you like to tell us why? Yeah. He seems yeah. like a bright guy to me. Well, you know, he is. He's very, he's, uh, he's very tech savvy. He's, he's intelligent, actually. But, uh, you know, stupid is as stupid does. That's right, Forrest. No harm to you, Jeff. But that was pretty stupid. And uh, I think he might know where I'm going with that. You know, it's it's on a female oh. naiveness kind of level. You know, he's very naive with the females. Anything you want to say, Michael? <laughs> no. I thought where Jeff was going with that was he's naive like a female. I was like, wow, canceled for life, right, by all the women. But what I think he means is that Denise's brother is terrible with females doesn't know what he's doing he's naive maybe he gets played a lot or just can't pick up a woman or whatever mm. pretty pretty painful but, but how would that make him stupid i mean stupid's an overall lower intelligence thing i would assume so yeah, i think he just tried to save somewhat of the face probably saw the look on this poor guy's face whenever because mm. you know. he looks like a cool guy you know a little rough on him right now you've answered nine truths and we are playing a game that can put significant money in your pocket, but at what expense? He wet his Denise, jeans? out of all of Jeff's relatives, who would you say is your favorite? <laughs> who do you like? Sean. Question 10. Would you be happy if you I'm never saw it. Jeff's sister, Lori, again? bother me if I never saw her again. So I'm gonna have to say yes. Okay. I would be happy. That's not the same thing. Would you be happy if you never saw Jeff's sister again? She said it wouldn't bother me, so yeah, I'd be happy. There's a dog that lives next door to us. I don't know the dog very well. I see it from time to time. His name's Dumbo. He's a lovely little dog. But if I never see him again, I'll be okay with that. But I won't be happy about it. Pretty painful, but maybe again. Maybe there's some history there. That answer is... True. Okay, that's 10 truthful. What's the deal, you guys? What, what is it? First of all, you, Lori, and then we'll try to do this civilly, and I'll let you both have a chance to speak. What is the deal that has you guys at this much of odds? I, I, I don't know what got started, but I mean, I came to Cali four years ago for graduation. Just the way that she is, she's not friendly. Okay. Um, she's just, she's disrespectful towards my family, and I don't like that. I'm used to people who, even if they don't like the person, they still show them respect. And she okay. doesn't do that. Is that fair, Denise? Respect? You didn't show me any respect when you came out. You disrespected me in my own house and our friends when we dropped everything to cater to your needs and you were ungrateful. That's where the problem is. 
Denise? Denise? How did you feel she disrespected you? I didn't mind she was there. She was rude to our friends. You feel that's true, Jeff? I, as much as I love my family, I love Denise as well. Um, she did, when she did come out on the vacation, she wasn't acting like she should have. Okay, yeah. that being said, you've also said that she doesn't act the way she should have around your family. Correct. Is that true as well, Jeff? I'm so vague. I'd say it goes both ways, yeah. Okay. I, I know growing up with you, you're not the easiest person to get along with, but straight up, you guys both need to swallow your pride because it's really stupid. <laughs> Let it go. I'm sorry. Let's just move on and, and end it. <laughs> Action. Action. I'm hard right now. <laughs> Before any new users think that I'm like an absolute creep, that is a throwback to our episode that me and Tom did, the first episode me and Tom did where we were talking about Creeps. Oh my god. I like you so much. Like, I'm getting like turned on. <laughs> like, my dick is getting hard right now. Honestly, the fact that I'm hard right now has nothing to do with that episode and everything to do with this one. So. Look, we're going to be in the family. I want to get together, okay? <laughs> There's one thing I know about hugs. See if someone hugs you and they pat while they're hugging, especially if it's like a one arm hug and a pat, they're a little uncomfortable. It doesn't necessarily mean they don't like you or whatever. It just means, it could mean they're caught off guard. I've always noticed that if someone's a little uncomfortable in the hug, they're gonna pat. And there's no patting going on as far as I can see yet. I guess that also could be nerves of like, ah, oh, this is just a, I'm so happy to get this off. But I think she, I think she seems a little genuine. It's really stupid. Let it go. I'm sorry. Let's just move end on and, and end it. Did notice something there. It's a bit odd that the sister said, I'm sorry. And then she got up and she initiated the hug. She obviously wants to end the drama, but I don't think she's truly sorry. I don't think she truly thinks she did anything wrong, but she's willing to end the drama to move forward. That means you're putting down how you really feel. You're compromising. Two sides give up something so they can reach a mutual uh, path forward. I dig it. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, Jenna. No, no padding on the arm. Oh, okay. oh, I thought I forgot you were here. Look, we're gonna be in the family. I want to get together, okay? Look. Mm -hmm. No padding. That's good. That is really good. Yeah. Mark's in the background. <laughs> Mark, hard, hard dick over here is walking, watching the background. Enough. Enough of that. Okay. Reminds me of Tasha Bedingfield. Now, the roles have switched. in the meantime, we're on our way towards $500,000. Yeah, because okay. he appreciates that she just. And you're one made question peace. away from twenty-five thousand dollars, which is an important step. But that ain't gonna step. last. It's on you now, Jeff. You're caught between a very difficult situation between your mom and the woman you've chosen to love. Question eleven. You love Denise more than your own mother. What do you think, Tom? Should you love your wife more than you love your mother? 
I do love my mom enormously. Me too. At the moment, I love my mom too. I think more than the woman I would probably marry. But yet again, those are two different type of loves. Yes, I agree. I think it is a totally different type of love. And if you absolutely had to measure them, I would assume that your love for your mother would be more. Now, it depends on the stage of the relationship, too. I mean, I'm with my wife 11 years, and the love has evolved in such good ways, in such different ways, you know. It moves on. But uh, I don't know if there's there's really a, um, a, a right or wrong answer to that question. Hopefully, Denise isn't too annoyed about that. I don't think, I, I wouldn't be annoyed. No. Worth $25,000, you guys. That's your money to keep no matter what. And it's a tough decision to make. Zeluisa, how do you feel about it? That's the way it should be. When you love someone, I feel that the wife comes first, then the parents, and then the kids. Sweet, fair enough. $25,000 is yours, but at what cost? You have to answer four more questions to get to $100,000. That's only four questions, but boy, oh boy. I mean, do you want to do that? Yes, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. You're not going to lose any money. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Denise? Yeah. Okay, I hope that's the right decision for you two. I wish you the best. Denise, how are your wedding plans coming along? Uh, they're not. They're not? <laughs> Kind of on hold? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've looked. Haven't made any rash decisions. It's not all the show. It's not all the test. It's not all the producers. Bro, you are in on this too. He's got the card there, but you see him in there. So, uh, ever had another dick in your mouth other than your husband's? <laughs> He's one of these guys, right? He's just adding a little gasoline to the fire, you know? This dude is making all the snowballs and passing them out, but he's throwing none of them. Okay, let's start making as many snowballs as you can. Or any concrete decisions? No, none. Okay, so you sort of throw. Except for a dress. <laughs> you got the dress handled. I know which one I want. <laughs> okay, good. Don't have it yet, but I know. Question 12, Denise. Since being engaged to Jeff, have you secretly met with a former boyfriend? The question is, since being engaged to Jeff, have you secretly met with a former boyfriend? Yes or no? Well, judging by the look on her face, she probably hasn't. Seems like the sister misread it and was like, Those chicks, he's about to ruin her life. Which makes her look guilty. That button is fucking cancer. There's nothing good about that button. And the next question they're going to replace it with is just going to be like, When did uh, she meet? Have you ever <laughs> met an ex-boyfriend in front of your husband's back without him knowing? It's going to be something so similar. It's, ri it's ridiculous. If we don't go into that one. I'm not going to go into Here's that one. Here's the replacement question. It's still on you. Are you okay, Denise? Yeah. Okay. And the question is, why did you meet up with a boyfriend behind your husband's back? Dong. Tell me a little bit about the time when you and Jeff were separated. We were separated. How long? Um, five and a half, six months. Well, it's a long time. Not really. We were on a break. Here's the replacement question. While separated from Jeff, did you have unprotected sex with another man? You know. That little adjective there that describes the type of sex. That's everything, isn't it? It really is everything. But hold on a second. Look, let's play devil's advocate. We can't just rag on her. We have to be equal, don't we? Yeah. Bit of, bit of equality. Equality and equity. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Come get your home loan today. So... If they were if they were separated five or six months of, of of being apart and she found somebody else and and slept with them unprotected, it's not really any of his business. If you break up with somebody for two weeks and you went out and screwed somebody, you have the right to do that. You broke up. That's what it means. Breaking up means, hey, freedom. We can fuck other people. We were don't break on up. a break. Yeah, don't be on a break if you don't want to break your own heart, if that's going to break your heart. We were on a break. <laughs> I um, have 
Ayaw, saya. Stings, but it's fair game. That answer is true. Did you see the look on the family's faces? <laughs> well, I actually zoned out and imagined what it would be if the answer would be false. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you lie about that? Imagine she was just like, "Yeah, I did. I did. I definitely did." Or did I? Okay, you got through that. The button worked. Got it. But Jeff, were you aware of this? Um, you know, it was uh. It was something that was kind of in the front of my mind. Uh, nothing in set in stone. Um, so, not no, set in I bed guess. sheets. Anything you want to say to your... Dude, there's no way you could have possibly been mad about that. I just want to make that 100% clear. There may be some dicky shit about this hot girl, but this is not one. Say to your future husband. Okay. Future husband. That's 12. Future ex-husband. You're getting a taste of how difficult the next questions are. Are you close with Denise's friends, Jeff? Have you been him? Um, her past friends, yes. Oh. Question 13. Have you ever had sexual relations with any of Denise's girlfriends? Yes. Does she know? That answer is... True. Okay. But she knows, right? Denise, you are a... Uh, she does know. You're a mixture of emotions. You're laughing while tears roll down your face. Uh, did you know about this? Yes. Hmm. I know who they were, too. So. Why the tears? Because it's sad. <laughs> Wait a minute, you knew who they were? Yeah, I knew who <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. More than one? Yeah. Well, was it while they were together? That's a big part of this. Were, were they together while he was banging her friends? Because if they were, he's a dick. She should probably break into that nightstand he's got again. <laughs> uh, so where is the money? Are you still friends with them? No. No. So we cheated on her? You've answered 13 and know. you've done great. Jeff has already admitted when we asked about you that he loves you more than- I'm best friends actually with my my wife's uh, ex-boyfriend. Her whole friend group was his friend group. So when we got together, it felt weird that we couldn't hang out with her friend group because he might be there or he couldn't come because I might be there. And it just felt stupid. One New Year's Day, we just put it all behind us and, and shook hands and it worked really well. That guy ended up being the guy 10 years ago that taught me how to use cameras, how to do lights, got me into video. Anything I can actually do to to, to provide for my wife was uh, actually uh, taught to me and set up by her ex-boyfriend, so pretty nice. So if they're banging, you know, I owe him one. That's perfectly understandable. His own mother. And that's one thing to say, it's another to have it proven with a polygraph. Now the question's on you, Denise, are you ready? Yeah. Question 14. Is Jeff the most important person in your life? No. That answer is... You know what? True. You said you know why. Mic. <laughs> You know why, Jeff? I'll go ahead and let. I, I know why. It's because of what my mom's going through right now. She's fighting cancer. Oh. So she's. Is that what you're thinking about? Oh, yeah. Well, we can certainly understand that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that your mother's not well. Certainly, all of us here, including your soon to be 
in-law family wish her a speedy, speedy recovery and miraculous health. Now, I'm going to be honest here, and I don't mean this in any disrespect. Cancer is a horrible thing, and it's sad for anybody to deal with it. But what the host just said there sounded like he was about to say, you're soon to be dead, relative, which was just really caught me off guard. But this show, you just never know where it's going to go. So that's why that flew into my mind. That's 14 Truthful. Again, I just let you know that it's just a game. You can stop. It's your choice to be here, and it can stop by your choice as well. You okay? You guys all right? $100,000 moment of truth, Jeff. Question 15. Do you want Denise to be the last person you ever have sexual relations with? What's your answer? No. That That's what I don't understand, I think, about nowadays. And this isn't even nowadays. This is a, 15 years ago, I'm going to assume, somewhere around that. My wife is absolutely the last person I ever want to have sexual relations with. She's the last person I want to touch me sexually or kiss me or do any of those things. That's why. I'm with her forever. I think like somewhere in society in the past 20 years, we started losing sight of that, losing sight of that kind of thing, what it's like to be mutually exclusive to each other and commit yourself for life. I've got no problem with it. I would be absolutely happy to die knowing that my wife is the last person that I've been with in that kind of way. Answer is... Unnecessary tension. True. Still, the theatrics behind that. It's a it's a bit weird the way the show is set up. <laughs> well, first the things first. <laughs> that truthful answer has earned the two of you a hundred thousand. In the beginning, both of them looked so presentable, fresh and ready, hyped up. Look at them now, man. Denise is crying. Jeff is confused about his hair. He's like, why should I, why did I choose this? What is going on? $1. Well done. That's a lot of money. Um, you want to explain your answer? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, life is so unpredictable. Um, well, that question, first answer that came to, to the table was no because although I do love Denise, um, I love her to death, you never know what's gonna happen. We get married, yeah, marriage is forever, but you never know in this unpredictable world. Um, and I would not want to go, uh, if anything would happen to Denise, I have to find a replacement. He was twisting and turning his way out of that fucking bottom pit and he buried himself with that fucking last answer. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? I mean, that's cold for her, like, you know? That's that's pretty that's pretty cold. One of the many fears I have is like having to redevelop intimacy with somebody else. It would be a catastrophic feeling for me to have to try and find somebody else as a replacement. There is no replacement. I think that's the point. That's what makes this such a damning thing to say i actually feel bad for for the mm -hmm. woman here that's that's pretty sad but you're right they came out and they looked like power couple both of them looking hot and held high and see the marks of shambles of man the marks of destruction on them from these kind of questions and these are not even the hardest questions in the world but they're devastating to an individual you have to just put yourself in in, mm -hmm. in these people's shoes what they're going through <laughs> <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> I've not been recording for the last three hours. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that freaks me out. Uh, I should be fine. Um. <laughs> Please don't. It does seem like it. Movie didn't. recording stop. Welcome back to Cringe Against Humanity. I'm Mr. Black, and in this episode, I've got my producer, Tom Arrow, with me. Say hello, Tom. Hey, what's up, people? If anything would happen to Denise. I have to find a replacement. But that is not the question. Okay. The question is, do you want Denise to be the last person you ever have sexual relations with? And that was no. Okay. 
As long as we're clear, and congratulations, $100,000. Run. Call 911 now. You got $100,000 if you stop. Only three more answers, truthfully, and you get $200,000. That's a wedding, that's a down payment for the house after the wedding, and maybe even some champagne. What do you want to do? You can stop now, take $100,000, or you can go through the next question at least on your way to $200,000. Oh, man. Couch, what do you say, Michael? Stop. I... No. And he's a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> Steven? Zing. I don't know, it's kind of a toss up, but it's more money than you came in with. Lori? I would go for it, Jeff. You'd go yeah, for it. I would go Sean? For it. I'm giving you the last word. Sean? <laughs> take a risk. Jeff, you're here to take a risk? And that's what you came here to do, right? I would go for it. How much worse could it get? You've just told your woman that you potentially are going to marry that you don't want her to be the last person that you sleep with. I think it could get a lot worse because that's like question 11 and there is like 20 questions. So that's like half. Bro, a family is assholes. <laughs> Look at them all like, yeah, yeah. Destroy your <laughs> lives. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Who's Jerry? I would go for it. Go yeah, and, uh, for it. Go. All right, you've heard what your family and friends have to yes. say. You make your decision based on how you, you two feel. And by the way, I need both of you to decide. So this is like practice for marriage. Discuss it. I said no. Just take the money. Let's give it to you. Excellent. Good. Right, Fantastic. Let me come between the two of you. As if I haven't done that. Well, that wasn't that. No, wait. I know. You, you think probably this is the end, right? Yeah. There is a continuation. And let's continue watching. Smell the fart acting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, I think you may have made a very wise decision, and I'm happy to give you $100,000. But listen, before we go, I have an offer for you. What? I have one question for each of you. Oh, no. If you agree to go backstage right now and be polygraphed on this one question, and you answer truthfully... I'll give you $5,000 each. And by the way, if you don't answer truthfully, you still get the $100,000. It has nothing to do with that. Do it. Do it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Here's the question that each of you would answer if you chose to. It's coming up on the board behind you. Let's take a look. Do you still want to get married? <laughs> okay. Now listen to me. Whatever your truth is, however it goes, you've got $100,000. You might want to just walk off the stage and let us leave it as this. What do you want to do? I do. I do. What do you want to do? Have you had enough? Do you realize how serious this is? Yeah. You want to do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay? Oh, man. You guys can hold hands and head right that way. Right into the screen. He really don't want her. And sadly, but it looks like that. Denise, you're way fucking better looking than this guy. Fact, you can do so much better. I hope you did. Hello, you guys. <laughs> Back to those uh, comfy red seats. I feel like I was just here. Well, you guys, this is um, appropriately a moment of truth. It is an unprecedented moment of truth. Mm. The $100,000 is yours. You guys did great. You stopped and the Please. money is safe and this has no effect on that. This, however, could have an effect on your future. How long have you two been engaged? Two years. Two years, and you've set a date, but Jeff, you're kind of like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so there's been some hesitation. Oh, definitely. Okay, so we offered you this proposition. One more question, separate and apart from the game that you played. And we'll start with you, Denise. The bonus question for 5,000 additional dollars. Do you still want to marry Jeff? After tonight, I'm going to have to say yes. <laughs> After all of tonight, I do. I think it's because of the money. <laughs> because of the hidden stash of the hidden 250s everywhere wherever you look i don't know yeah it's a tough one it's a bit dickish that she stole like 250 out of his nightstand but i mean i i, I would like some more context on that yeah you know if my wife went in my wallet and stole you know 10 20 bucks because she needed it and whatever it's like, no big deal i would expect she would tell me you know and did she tell him 
you know? Yeah. I, I took the 250. I, I needed it. I'm sorry. You know, that 250 is a lot to just be taken out of somebody's wallet or mm. dresser or whatever. So I don't know. I'm just interested to hear what this, am I going to be fooled here? I don't know. Let's see if she's telling the truth, Jeff. That answer is... True. Damn. Five thousand more dollars. Oh, look at that. Five thousand. Hand away. Denise, while the hundred thousand dollars you won together, the five thousand you won by yourself. So that you, that's yours. You can put that in your own secret account if you'd like. God, Lisa, <laughs> I'm gonna have to have one now. <laughs> Jeff, your question: Do you still want to marry Denise, given everything you've heard? No. Wait, hold on. After everything you've heard, what did he hear? She heard the bad shit. It should have been, do you still want to marry Denise after everything she's heard? <laughs> after everything you've done? <laughs> <laughs> that answer is... False. Ah. Uh... True. <laughs> Man, that poor well... girl. Yeah. It's a poor, beautiful girl. Five thousand dollars. It may prove to be worth a lot more than that. Denise, are you surprised by his answer? Damn, man. Jeff, is there anything you want to say to? I guess you're still your fiance. Asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> lost for words. I don't. Well, I'd suggest. Well, I'm not going to suggest anything. I know you're lost for words. I know this is probably not the place you thought you would be having this confrontation. And it's important that you guys know this before you go any further or continue to kid yourself if you're not gonna go further. So Denise, is there any question you wanna ask Jeff or anything you wanna say to Jeff? If he doesn't have words, do you have some? Jeff, Denise, I appreciate you being here. I wish you both the best, either together or separate. And I hope this experience provided for you what you wanted. Thank you all the time we have. We'll see you next time on the movie. Seeing this episode really makes me think a little bit more about Lauren Cleary. While I do think Lauren Cleary did some terrible things and was a bad person then, the things that she did then were bad. I don't know how she is now. These shows really, really, really exploit and break the hearts of people. I would say Denise will never be the same after this. I mean, this is such a traumatic experience. For some people, they think that going out there and committing yourself to people to be mutually ex exclusive and then cheating on them is just like, eh, well, whatever, it's part of the game. Well, it's not. It's a fucking horrible thing to do to somebody. I've had my heart broken. It's terrible. It's an awful, awful, awful feeling. And I can't imagine being brought on a show with the person that I think I'm about to marry and yeah and get your guts ripped the fuck out ripped out like this i mean this is awful this is this is pretty awful yeah you know and no one's like going this woman's like upset you know she's she's just her whole life and what she thought her life was going to be has just been ripped before her and did the show cause some of this or did the show just expose what he really felt inside exposed i think i think it's somewhere in the middle honestly i think that this pushed him a little further mm -hmm. i just don't understand why he's with her or why he would have been you know gotten engaged to her but then again he slept with multiple of her girlfriend whether or not they were together i don't know maybe that was on the time they were separated and he yeah. slept with multiple of them while she was having unprotected sex with somebody else but regardless denise get the f out of there if you're not out of there mm -hmm. get out of there you don't you don't need this yeah not worth it i mean the show itself yeah laughs and giggles here and there yeah but uh, overall, it's quite damaging. I mean, that's that's tra traumatic stuff that you're yeah. never fully going to recover from. You'll never trust people again. And when you start breaking the trust of people, it's bad to lie. It's obviously bad to steal. Um, but it's horrible, horrible mm -hmm. to break someone's heart. You can have reasons for the other things, but there are very few reasons to cheat on any anybody. Very few reasons. Okay? 
It could be an abusive relationship. You could, there are circumstances where I could understand a woman trying to get out of it or a man trying to get out of it and doesn't know how because they're stuck in a loop. But just cheating on someone because it's fun and because that's something to do, you're a uh, piece of shit. Yeah, that's a weird uh, way of looking for excitement in your life. Yeah. I mean, go ride a bike or, I don't know, climb a tree, whatever. Yeah. Dude, if it's not working out, if, it, if you feel, God, you know what? I really want to I really want to bang this other girl over here that wants to me. bang me. Mm -hmm. Just the it may seem hard and callous, but the biggest thing you can do, the biggest person thing you can do is to go and tell that person you're committed to them, you, is to tell them that I I feel feelings for someone else. So this isn't going to work. And that's hard, and that's going to be heartbreaking too. But it's a lot better than going on a fucking TV show and finding out that dude doesn't want to marry you and or someone cheated on you or, or whatever. These these things are horrible things to just reveal on a show but still at least they got 110k yeah i have my heart broken and there's not an amount of money you could have given me that would heal that heart though the money would it have been would nice make it would, easier a little bit know, at least <laughs> give me 110k after you break my heart i mean it li it lightens the load yeah a, a little, little bit. bit i mean it's gonna be 55k i assume i'm proud that i've never cheated on anybody if you have and you're gonna leave a comment about how well sometimes people i don't give a fuck you can be you and you can run around using people and Treating them like disposable paper plates and napkins and putting them in the bin. But I'd like to have a little more integrity and a little more dignity and respect for others. And also, Denise is hot. Can't be cheating on hot people. Yeah. Dude, Definitely. dude, if she was ugly in the size of a house, like Mr. Black here, <laughs> I would say. Mr. Black. Say fucker. Mr. Plack. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Plack. So, peace out until the next Cringe Against Humanity. Keep yourself cringe free. <laughs> <laughs>